first find of the day <laughs> i got a mini bowl well first good find i also have a pocket full of shotgun shells new hunt today um i'm out with rob who is up there and uh <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> uh, you don't want to know. Anyway, so, yeah, we got a Civil War bullet. That was a uh, fired 58 caliber mini ball from the Civil War. Uh, we're going to hunt around today in the woods. We're trying to stay out of the wind. It's a little bit frozen, but not too bad. So, we're going to have a good time today. You ready? I am. Let's do it. I'm still digging along and getting a lot of shotgun shells that read right around 52 to 54 or so. And I'm going to dig one with you so you can see what I'm talking about. And then I'll try not to dig any more. Now, the only problem with that is the shotgun shells sound a lot like uh, Civil War buttons. Civil War era buttons, the two-piece buttons. So you know, eagle buttons and stuff like that will sound just like a shotgun shell. So if you don't dig them, you won't dig buttons. But let's go ahead and dig one here one of those signals 52 and what i'll do is i won't dig too many of those until i get in an area where i'm finding drop bullets or melted lead or other drop civil war items or a lot of iron like little nails and stuff that uh, the soldiers might have put here when they had campfires and stuff so one chalk on shell signal for now somewhere right in here there you go can you hear it <laughs> So what we'll do is just flip it over and look at it real quick. This was always a wood, so nothing's very deep. I think I probably got it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's over in here. And I suspect if we just, the troll drain, if we just look, we'll see a shotgun shell in there. Do you see one? <laughs> I don't. All right, let's get the uh, loop over. All right, still in here. Nope. Yep, in here. No. Yeah, okay, so. Shotgun shell. Look right here, that's a 12-gauge shotgun shell. You can see the primer in the bottom. It's got that little dimple. That means it's been fired. And that's just the brass part of it. That's called a low brass. The rest of it would have been paper. And it's rotted away. All right, no more of those for a little while. I'm digging a few things over there. And I have a little signal here that's reading higher than a shotgun shell. I don't think it's a bullet, but it's a little squirrely sounding and it's a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and investigate this together. be right in this pile I'll just get it, get it by chunks it's in here it's smaller than the shotgun shell for sure might be like a 22 bullet <gasps> lucky that might be a button let me take my gloves off okay right here that almost looks like a little button or something doesn't it what do you think it's not a normal eagle button if it is it's a one piece maybe it's confederate is it oh is it probably a flower button and there's the back you can see the shank where it's sewn on the uh, jacket or shirt and there's the front can't really tell through the camera but it looks kind of smooth I'm going to eyeball that, and if it's something better than a smooth button, we'll take another a closer look at it. Just dug a shotgun shell right here, but this signal right beside it sounds a little juicier. Look at that, see? Up in the 70s. So I, I suspect this is going to be something good. Maybe a bullet. It's kind of high squeaky, though. It might be brass. I think I kicked it. <laughs> yeah, it's a piece of aluminum. 
Yeah, it's uh, some type of aluminum. Do <laughs> Sorry about that. I think I just broke my camera. Yeah, it's just a piece of piece of junk. We're actually right near a, a trash pile, so I'll be a little bit more careful with that. Still digging lots of shotgun shells, but I have a signal here that I think probably isn't one. At least I hope. Let's dig it together. Let me show you what we're dealing with here um, for the signal. Why I like it better than the sh normal shotgun shells. Well, it's a lot bigger than that. That's a big signal right there, but it's not really reading high enough to be like a belt buckle or anything, but yeah, I don't know about this one. Ah, looky. You know what that is? That's an arrow from uh, where someone was hunting deer. You need to be really careful because sometimes these have really sharp points. Now, and if you look, this is not a hunting point. This is like a practice point. So this wasn't shot at a deer. At least I sure do hope not. But the shaft is made out of aluminum and they always sound really good. I finally have a nice high squeaker. It's not a big target, so it's not like a belt buckle, but it sounds like brass. Hopefully it's not like a rifle cartridge, but it's right down there. Let's look at it together. Right about there. It's squeaking high, but not giving me a terribly high reading on the B, uh, BDI. You know the numbers. It's definitely not very big. All right, we got it out of the hole. Let's check here. Wait, not there. Wasn't very deep. Yep. Oh no, it's a shotgun shell. I don't know why that was squeaking so high, but it was. I'll go ahead and chuck the hole, fill it in, and then we're gonna head back up the hill uh, where uh, Rob was. <sighs> Get out of these shotgun shells. I finally ran back into Rob and he's eyeballing something over there. Let's go see what he found. I haven't found anything since that uh, button. Except for shotgun shells. What you get, man? Got me a Williams cleaner. Oh, sweet. That's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Looks like it, I don't know if it's teeth mark or I, it, it either pulled or dropped, but it's got some. Yeah, it's all messed up, isn't it? Yeah. I don't really see where it was like twisted or anything, uh, but I suspect yeah, it is. See, like, cool. Yeah, it looks like a rodent chewed on it, like a squirrel or yeah. something, huh? Chipmunk. <laughs> a chipmunk it wasn't bullet. deep, it was right there. Nice. I think we we'll probably walked, I've probably walked over that once or twice. It's falling apart. Oh, that's why it's in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Because I think that's the shield right there. Yeah, definitely. That's too bad. I mean, it's a nice fine, but it's too bad it's yeah. in kind of rough shape, you know? Yeah. There's not really much you can do with that. It has the eagle on it. A general service, right? Yes, sir. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, doing all right, man. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you seem happy. I am. I'm out here today. <laughs> having a good time, so. Yeah, it makes all the difference in the world, doesn't and it? And of course, you're out here with us. So. <laughs> oh, don't get all better. mushy on me now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be, I'll be quiet now. Uh, what do I do with my machine? I can go back and find that thing. Let's get away from him. It's getting weird, man. <laughs> but he's where the relics are. So maybe we'll go crowd them out. So I'm still digging uh, shotgun shells by the handful because that's really the only signal I'm getting is that kind of, you know, 40, 50, 60. Um, but this one I just dug isn't a shotgun shell. Kind of looks like one, but it's actually a Spencer uh, cartridge from the Civil War, American Civil War. Um, I'll give you a close-up of this, but basically this is a cartridge that would have gone into a uh, rifle of carbine. And I think a Spencer held like seven rounds, so they could just feed these in here, you know, feed them in the gun. They had like seven rounds to shoot, bam, 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 load it right back up again. Revolutionary, um, you know, during that time. Because you got to remember, a lot of guys were just shooting a, a musket, like one shot, you know, a minute later, another shot. Um, and these were bam, 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 so... I'll show you close up of what it looks like. Hand looks a little bit rough because of course it's winter time, but yeah, this is the casing part. And it was a rimfire 
just like the modern 22 bullets and stuff and uh, there would have been a lead bullet right in the end here pretty cool huh if you look somewhere along here i can't really see through the camera but if there's a dent it would dent the side right here that's what made it fire nice i like it something different so this is a strange sounding target. Um, I, mean, I don't have high hopes for it, but it just sounds a lot different than what I've been digging because it's kind of really skippy and bouncy. Hear that? So something weird's going on there. That's different. Uh, could be a couple shotgun shells. Could be something really cool like a little nest of gold coins. But we won't know until we dig it up. So let's do it. It's kind of like bouncy, so I thought it'd be worth checking out together. It's not deep, but I can tell you that right now. That would have gotten it. Alright. I suspect it's more than one. Ah, there was a shotgun shell, I think. <laughs> There's one shotgun shell, but... I mean, I don't think this was making that signal as possible, because pieces are missing. This is actually brass. So if it's spread around a little bit, that could be why I'm getting that bouncy signal. Let's listen with the metal detector again. Yep, that's all it was. Well, it was a learning experience for us both. <laughs> uh, let's get a gold coin next, what do you say? This is another cartridge I just dug, and it's a lot smaller than the Spencer, and uh, I suspect it's a modern one. So what we'll do is clean off the bottom, and if it has a primer right in the center, like it does, see that rust? That tells us it's automatically 100% um, post-American Civil War, so it's post-1860s. Probably a pistol round, I'd reckon, although I'm not sure what it is. It's old, no doubt, but it's not American Civil War old. This is an interesting bullet. Um, I think it's, you know, modern. I think it's post-Civil War. But look how flattened out that thing is. I mean, I'm just guessing it's post-Civil War. I'm not 100% even, but I don't recognize that little flat piece right there. It's really heavy. Um, the reason I didn't get it on camera is because it was in the leaf litter and just kind of kicked it out of the leaves. Huh. Wow, that's pretty cool right there. Just dug a little pistol bullet. You can see it's still got the sprue right there on the top, that little flat spot. That's where it was uh, uh, poured in a mold and snipped off. And that's pretty cool right there. First one out here. Um, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little find right there. I haven't found one of these in a while. We'll add that to the collection. Weak. I hope it made the bag. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that one. Oh boy, oh boy, we finally have something that sounds better than a shotgun shell. <laughs> Got a little bit of a high squeak on it. About under this little bush right there, that little tiny one. This should get it. I'm hoping it's at least a bullet. <laughs> wow, that's rocky. <laughs> you see it? A lot of times you can see it when you pop up the ground like that. It'll just come flying out. All right. Something a little different this time. Should be right in here. Hope that's not the tripod. <laughs> okay, it's in my hand. Let's just see if we can see it. See it? I feel it right here. Lucky. It's a bullet. Looks like a mini ball. All covered with dirt. Let's clean it off a little bit. Yeah, that's what it is. 58 caliber mini ball. Sweet. <laughs> Maybe we're in a good spot right here. That's the first good squeaker I've had in hours. That, you know, it wasn't shotgun shell. Nice. That's where I just dug the bullet and I uh, checked the hole and there's nothing else in it. But I have another nice squeaker up here that sounds kind of like a bullet. Not too far away. I'd say that's going to be another bullet. Might be another one here. That's got a little bit of iron signal to it, but I wouldn't be surprised there's another one there. 
stick around just a little bit. One there for sure. It's hard to do holding camera. A lot of iron in here. I've been hitting tons of uh, shotgun shells because they're right behind a house. And a 30 caliber carbine casings. Uh, that's a nice solid one. That's in the 50s. I'm gonna go with a shotgun shell on that. We might dig it though. That might be something there too. But let's go ahead and just dig this thing. We're right here. First thing I do is I just kind of kick the leaves back because if it's on the surface, it'll move. And we won't have to dig a hole in the woods. Just like that. A lot of times if it's a shotgun shell, um, it'll have moved. So we're gonna go ahead and check, see if it's still there. Excellent, right, be right below that rock. Still reading pretty good, not quite as high as I'd like to see it, but my technique's not great when I'm holding the camera. I'm trying to do all this at once. Get that rock out of the way, a piece of quartz or something. Scrape right. it back. Get the pin pointer out since I got you all set up there. I know you can't hear that, but that's right. Ah, there it is. I see it. Do you see it? Right there. Look. Not that, but right here. It's another mini ball. Nice. Another drop 58 caliber mini ball from the American Civil War. Got that uh, kind of a weird color is because of the leaves, the tannins in the leaves. Um, but there's white underneath and we'll clean the oops sorry we'll clean the base out a little bit later see if there's anything in the base but all right so that was about two feet apart we'll look around right in this exact area because as you see they seldom ever drop one bullet normally you find more than one you know two three sometimes a bunch of them i guess i shouldn't turn the camera off that's where i dug the bullet and i went ahead to check the hole and there's another one right above it well right there that's gonna be another bullet, I think. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one up in there too, but that's part of my shovel. Okay, let's go ahead and dig this one together. Now nah, it's right about there. The ground is really rocky. It's hard to get the camera set up. All right, things gonna be right in here. A lot of rocks. All right, let's check with a pinpointer. I don't hear it. I bet it's back here. It is. It's in my hand. Let's look for it together. What I do is I kind of feel for the weight of it. There it is. I felt it first. Can you see it? Right here. It's another bullet. Excellent. I like it. Let's check the little area right here. See what else we got. Check this hole. No more than that one. Close it up. There. You can get Check up in here. I can hear a bunch of iron right here. That's definitely iron now. Maybe. It, but not looking too happy. I'm going to put him here and uh, cover him back up. Yeah, I don't think I smushed him. He might be all right. Sorry, right. I hate when I do that. Right where he was laying, I think there's another bullet. I'll be careful not to hit him though. This is pretty deep, this one. Alright. That's 
wineberry. It's a, uh, like a raspberry, kind of. All right, that's it, isn't it? Check with this. Still down in there. I haven't got to it yet. Careful that frog. I don't want to hit him again. I think we got it moved now. That right there. <laughs> it's here somewhere. I can feel it in my hand. It's another bullet. Right here. Nice. Look at that. Another mini ball. Must be a thousand of them right here. Next to the poor frog. Froggy's right there, so I put an extra layer of leaves on them. Thing is, in the winter like this, they're uh, they're hibernating, so his his metabolism is really, really, really slow. Uh, so he might be actually be just fine. So fingers crossed, but we'll let him be. Just a couple feet up from where the uh, from those bullets and has a little frog, and I just dug a button. I didn't get it on camera because I just figured it was a shotgun shell. Yeah, look at that. That's a Union General Service button. This is what the Yankee infantry would wear. Very common, most common Civil War button. You can see it has an eagle on it and a shield in the middle. And if you look in the middle where the shield is, if it had a letter in it, it would be an officer's button, like it might have an A for artillery, I for infantry, R for rifleman, yada, yada, yada. But it doesn't have any, so we know this was a, an enlisted men's button. That's a good one, though. That's not going to fall apart. Good shape. That's a nice little find right there. So I was feeling super bad about that little tree frog that I uh, dug up. So I went ahead and uncovered him again just to see if I actually did wound him or not. And it looks like I didn't. He looks perfectly fine. I've flipped him over. I've looked at him up close. Um, so I think he's going to be okay. Of course, he's in what a state, I guess what we would call a state of torpor, which is kind of like hibernation. I'm going to go ahead and show him to you since he's not hurt. If he was hurt, I would not show him to you. But uh, I think he's going to be fine. This is the little fella right here. I flipped him around. I looked at him. Everything looked fine on him. Um, he's moving really really slow so see he's moving still so I don't think I heard him I'm gonna bury him uh, rebury him under a very light layer of dirt and some leaves and I think he's gonna be fine we dug up a snake uh, last time we were out and um, same type of thing I guess he was down in the leaves hibernating hate, hate when that happens but I think it'll be okay I have a happy little squeaker right in here it's actually not very small <laughs> Really, 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 really nice signal right here. I better be real careful on this one. Oh, she fell over. Hey, what? I'm gonna bring you down close. That's a little better. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of trash right here. Uh, this is a good signal though, right here. I'm gonna be very careful with it, just in case it's a belt buckle. <laughs> Rob would kill me. Yeah, I think it's a bullet right there, maybe. Yeah, it's a bullet. Just a bullet. Nah, it's not a bullet. All right, I'm gonna dig back in here because I think it's right here. I'm gonna dig here and just uh, see what we have. I wanna make sure we don't hit it. There we go. You see it? Ah, I see it right there. Doesn't look good though. I think we'll be very disappointed with this one. I'm gonna move you just a little bit. All right, that's it right there. It's brass. I suspect it's going to be like a mason jar lid though, so I guess it's zinc. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Oh, these things sound so good. 
like a mason jar ball jar lid that's made out of zinc and you can see it's all falling apart here so man that could easily been a belt buckle though that's exactly what they sound like well almost exactly <laughs> all right let's go find something a little better than this i'll check the hole make sure there's nothing else in there like a bunch of coins in a jar all right here we go this is kind of an interesting signal. I already started digging it up, but it's giving me a high squeak now, but there's something strange about it. Uh, yeah, I took the, uh, unplugged my headphones. <laughs> well, I turned them off so you could hear it. I forgot all about doing that. Let me set the camera down and we'll look at what it is. I think it's still in the dirt right here. All right, let's see what we have. Hopefully they won't hear the camera. <laughs> Uh, might have. It's right in that dirt. Ah, I hope I didn't hit it. Pretty close to it though. Right in here. I don't think it's very big. Probably got it there. To the pin pointer. It should, well, no, you're not going to hear the pin pointer. I guess you are. Uh oh. I'm going to call Mako. Alright. Let's get the pin pointer. Yeah, maybe we didn't dig it up yet. Ah, okay. It's a little bit off, so right here. Let's dig with our fingers. Should never do that. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Yeah, I hope you can see that. Shadows are pretty harsh, aren't they? Ah, that was close. Not too close. Yeah, that got it for sure. I need that root, maybe. All right, let's try that. I don't know if you can see it or not, can you? Okay. So it should be in this loose dirt that we just dug up. Yeah, right in here. Just move it around a little bit. <laughs> I think it just fell back in the hole. Yep. All right. In my hand. You see it? Do you feel it? Oh, there it is. Is that a button? That's a little button, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm going to move the camera so we get a better focus. All right, let's see what it is. I guess it's an eagle. I can't, it's really hard to see through the camera. But what I'm going to do is clean it up and we'll look at it together. All right, this is a little eagle button. And uh, if you look really closely, and I'll give you a close up on this, there's an eye in the middle. So it's infantry. So like I was telling you earlier, this is an officer's button. And these are often much better made. And uh, you might not be able to see it, but you can actually see some of the gilding right here or the gilt. It's a uh, gold color because this would have been completely covered with a gold color uh, when it was new. But yeah, these are usually better made. They sound a little bit better. That's why we was getting that high squeak, even though it's a button and it's got the eye in the center. Let me give you a close up. And uh, it'll go from there. All right, if you take a peek at that, you can clearly see the eye for infantry. I wish I'd get a little bit closer for you, but I can't quite figure out how to do it with this camera. <laughs> Let me flip it over so you can see the back. You can see the shank right there. That's where they would have sewn it onto the uniform. So that gave a little bit of a higher squeak than a normal, what you think would normal button would give or shotgun shell. So we'll listen close for these signals now. I'm about a foot away from where I found that button. And I uh, got another good signal here and it's kind of very small. So I'm hoping it might be another one. Should be right in here. Could be a shotgun shell. <gasps> it's a shotgun shell. <laughs> I won't do that again, I promise. Now, this kind of same thing here is that uh, infantry button that I just found. Uh, I had a signal, kind of sound shotgun shellish, but then, well, I thought I had my headphones off. I'll try that. But then it got a pretty good high squeak on it, so let's try that together. I guess I should say this one together. <laughs> All right. So you can hear the uh, pinpointer now. So it's right in there. And this could be a shotgun shell. It's just that it just started sounding a lot better all of a sudden. Let me move that. Um, so I am suspect it might not be. At least I'm hoping. I'm thinking it's right there. 
Oh no, I moved it. <laughs> All right, I'll throw it in here. Is that it? Okay, so it's right in here. Let's, it's a shotgun shell, but it's a big one. No, actually it isn't. It's a uh, just a normal shotgun shell, low brass. You can see it's kind of short. A high brass would be about this tall, and they actually have a, well, they obviously sound a lot better because it's more uh, brass, but uh, yeah, that's all it is. Okay, I won't do this again. I know I promised not to do this again like a second ago, but this was a signal that uh, didn't sound great, but it's really changed a lot now that I have the hole dug. Now, uh, let me turn my headphones off. See? Sounds much better. And uh, it's actually hitting kind of high on the meter, so let's see what it is. I dug it up. I hope it's not a shotgun shell. <laughs> I promised I'd never, I wouldn't do another shotgun shell on you, but. Ooh, this is interesting. Now oh. oh, I think I'm getting my uh, tripod. Oh, I haven't dug it up yet. Look at that. So it's still right there. Awesome. Actually, uh, has me a little bit stoked. Over here. Nice and deep. Bullet. See it? Do you see it right there? It's a Civil War bullet. I can tell by looking at it. I think it's warm too. All right, you ready? I'm gonna give you, I have to refocus. Hopefully you can see that now. That looks like a, uh, yeah, that's one of those, um, used to call them Harper's Ferry patents. Sorry about that. You can see how it's uh, got that little squirrely thing on top. That means it's been pulled out of a barrel. Uh, but yeah, that's a good Civil War bullet right there. That's a good Civil War bullet right there. It's called a Williams patent. I think we used to call them uh, pistol carbines. But uh, beautiful shape. I like it. Maybe there's another one in the hole. Let's check. Together. Ready? Nope. <laughs> when I move the camera, whoops. When I move the camera, I'll check this area. This was about three inches behind where I found that um, uh, bullet just a minute ago. And it's that, this is a carved bullet. That's the inside of it. That's the cone on the inside of a bullet. I'll flip it over and you can see one ring. I'm not sure what they were trying to make with that. Probably just carving it away. But we'll keep checking the hole and see if there's more of that in there. The Williams patent bullet came from right here and that car piece came from right here. I don't think there was anything else in the area though. That's pretty cool though, I like that. Hear that? Yeah, that's right, it's a troll train. Got a really good signal right here, but it's not very deep. So I thought we'd try to kick it out of the leaves together. Right in there, you see that white stuff's bird poop? We think it's too high to be a shotgun shell, so you ready? <laughs> I think it's probably very, very shallow. Get that got it. Yeah, it's in the leaves. A lot of times when guys would find um, like shotgun shells, they would just uh, throw them away, just pitch them, so they're right on on the surface. And that goes with other junk too. Not everyone uh, carries their stuff out. Can't close them a shovel. Let's try that. Ah, no, looky. It's a little ring of iron. Hey, it's gone now. Kind of lost track of uh, Rob and Burrhead. Haven't seen them for about three hours. I mean, I'm not very far from where we started, so. I don't think they left me. I see a jacket hanging in the tree right over there. So I think they're around somewhere. Good signal right here. Um, it was kind of iffy in the beginning. I started digging it, digging it. And now it sounds really good. I think it might be a potato in the hole too. <laughs> Let's take a look. I don't really think this is a potato, but yeah, it kind of looks like a potato. <laughs> some type of, uh, some type of flower. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. I'll put it back when we're done. Let you listen to it with the machine. Hi. 
nice high squeak kind of getting a little bit of the tripod right there but let's go ahead and do the pinpoint on this one so i definitely don't want to hit this all right it's right there ah it might be a bullet i just saw some white right here did you see it right there look yeah it's a bullet just a bullet <laughs> anyway that's a williams cleaner what do you think you like that uh these would come packed um i think there's four maybe in a uh, cartridge box of 40. yeah i'm probably wrong about four but it was something like that and the theory was uh every so often the soldier would fire one of these and this uh would clean the barrel i'm not sure if it worked or not but i guess it did this little piece here is actually a plunger uh, that has a stem that goes up inside of here and in between where there's dirt now normally there was a uh, well always there was a zinc washer and this plunger was when it was fired it would go up it would push up and would smash the washer and uh, the washer would flatten out and kind of poke out a little bit and as this went up the barrel of the musket spinning in the rifling that would grab the zinc would grab the uh, fouling in the rifling and pull it out uh, of course, the zinc is harder than the lead. Williams Cleaner. That's a number three, I do believe, which is uh, the later ones. Number ones uh, did not have this plunger on the bottom. The number twos were a lot bigger, and the number threes were a little bit smaller. And kind of a massive hole there, but well, what I found in it was uh, three of these buckshot. So... I imagine at one time that was a buck and ball hole. It would have been a 69 caliber round ball and three of these. And someone probably found the 69er years ago, decades ago, and I didn't bother picking these up. So, well, Mr. Burr says he has something. Do you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's go check it out. What do you have? I'm having a bad day. I got in a pocket of bullets. I think I got up to 12. Really? They walked away because we got to go. The mom said, walk down this line to the tree and see if there's anything else. And I hit something. <gasps> oh, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, that's a good old Civil War buckle right there. That's a carbine sling buckle. Is it this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. 100%. 100%. That would have been uh, you know, worn across the shoulder. I'm going to here. And the carbine would have... Like a Spencer carbine right. or something like that would have hung down here when they're on a horse. There's a big belt that went across here. So that's the bat the wing would have been at the end of the belt. Yeah, okay. exactly. I yeah. know what this is. That's, that's a nice find, man. Congratulations. I got the heart pumping, man. I, th I saw the green, the square. I was like, oh, did I get a sewer belt plate? And I pulled it out. Well, I'll take it. It's oh, absolutely. Awesome. I mean, you don't find those things every day. You know what I mean? This is cool. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, I guess I was having a bad day. I was like, man, I can't even get one bullet. And then. And you kept at it, right? Yeah, that's it, right. How about you, Mr. Rob? So we have a question about this. Oh wow! What you got? Oh yeah. It's pulled. That's pulled pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple of different types of uh, pullers they had. They had a. Um, that's weird. What's that thing? Hmm. Not sure. Not sure about that oh. thing. What is it? <laughs> I guess that's a uh, Colt Dragoon. I'm not sure about that one. That's kind of bizarre, actually. Because we were, look, cause yeah. see there's like black down in there. Yeah, so that's the powder. Because we were the... thinking possibly Gardner explosives. No. I know because no. they have the hole on the bottom. Oh, yeah, they're, 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 yeah, they're a lot different than that. But that's uh, that's been warmed out. If you look inside, you'll see little screw lines, screw uh, holes going, you know, the, the screw channels. What, what am I trying to say? Yeah. Help me out, man. <laughs> Sweet. I'm not sure about this little one. Let's clean him up yeah. and look at it. Got nice. What'd you get over there? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, like a suspender buckle. So what you got over there? I got a pocket full of them. Oh, nice. Can I see it? Yeah. Very One nice. Ones in there somewhere. Well, oh, yeah. Those are beauties. Yeah. You got a button? Yeah. Got a button? Uh, your question on it. Is this uh, a button because it's iron? Would they have an iron button? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Yes. I, uh, 
underwear button. That'll be four holes. Sometimes they're uh, brass, but usually they're Some iron. Some more in here. Hold on. Nice. What's this? Is that just aluminum? Looks like mm -hmm. melted aluminum, huh? There's my pulled one. Yeah, yeah, definitely pulled. So they were unloading the muskets because um, they didn't want to fire them or if they, you know, the powder was wet and they wouldn't go off. Um, yeah, there's no other way to unload them except to shoot them. Mm -hmm. I think that's modern. It could be. May I see it? Yep. I don't know. It might not be. I think it might be okay. Yeah. I have to clean them off a little bit. That almost looks like yeah, a I think I think I think you'll be all right on that one. Cool. I think you'll be all right. <laughs> Is it okay to put it back in there? Oh yeah. 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 Oh, nice man. You guys did all right. Sweet. It was How a good day. You? Yeah, I got some bullets, a couple buttons, you know. Yeah. Real good. Nothing, nothing amazing. Let's we dig. Needed it. Somebody down there to dig. Let's go it. Let's do it. I have to come back because we got to get the kids. First, first day oh. out, 2019. Get a buckle. Did you dig it? No. No, but you told him where it she was. Told me where yeah, it was. that's awesome. I it. I should, see, I, I should have hung out with you. <laughs> well, I took him down to the other trench line that was down there. Oh, I, don't think I haven't been down I think there yet. They though. had a stone wall at the edge of the trench because where I was getting bored, sure. I was digging these huge stones and they would pop out. And we just had to get the pinpointer because a bunch of signals in there. So. Yeah, that could very well be. I don't, I don't like this. that one. I don't either. But yeah, I think it's better than the modern one. Pretty sure. Awesome. I think we all found some good stuff. Today, didn't we? Until I go to sleep. She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity.